Wotani, Wotani. There to dream, there to think, there to believe, there to work. Only then do you achieve. Motani signing on. Opportunity only dances with those who are already at the dance floor. <laughs> I take it again. Opportunity only dances with those who are already at the dance floor. Top of the morning from the busiest street in the northwest region of Cameroon, Commercial Avenue, Bamenda. For the next 60 minutes, my goal here is to keep you going. Keep that fire burning within you so that you never give up on that thing, that goal, that vision that keeps you wondering that keeps you awake while others are asleep that thing that you believe deep in your gut you can make it happen or make it better i will attempt to do so in words music and uh, poetry only on fm 98.5 dream fm the radio for peace and development And in the 1001 buttons on the panel, Mixa, call him the indefatigable Talk Clinton. And on the commercial decks, we have our Citabel. And for general supervision, there is none other but our station boss, real our Mika Power Ram. For our day and for general, and on the MIC, call me the motivational speaker, call me the spoken word artist, call me the corporate trainer, Tani D. Awa, aka Mo Tani.
Good afternoon once more, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Motani, your motivational talk show on FM 98.5 Dream FM. On this wonderful day of November, we are going to be talking. We are going to be inspiring each other and motivating each other on the topic some habits of a highly effective person what are the habits of a highly effective person when you were born ladies and gentlemen when you were born you were totally dependent on your parents for food you were dependent on them for shelter you were dependent on them for security the tragedy is most of us in the long run become so comfortable with that situation we become really really comfortable with it in such a way that we find it difficult to navigate through life without the help of either our parents or our friends or maybe that colleague or that uh, that loved one when they are no more so the high, the habits of a highly effective person are going to help you help you to be able to be able to navigate through life without that friend without your without if your parents are not there without them it's going to also help you help organizations that are starting up that are aiming to be high or that are aiming to be one of the most profitable or to be the most impactful in the community habits of a highly effective person or a highly effective organization are going to help you are you a married person are you married it is going to help you ladies and gentlemen to be a better husband be a better wife be a better father and a better mother habits of a highly effective person will also help you ladies and gentlemen be a great businessman making profit while adding value to your community making profit while adding value to your community habit of a highly effective person will help you do all that so ladies and gentlemen we are going to dive into that but what i would like to tell you is the habits we are going to be discussing today are not quick fixes when i talk of quick fixes i mean it is not something that by the wave of your hand you will be able to just change the situation overnight it's going to take constant practice constant practice is what will help you become better there are no quick fixes i will not i'm not here to lie to you and tell you that regardless of your situation after practicing and doing these habits for a day or two things are going to get back to normal no no no, no. that would be a big lie but i'm here to assure you that if you continuously practice them things are going to get far far better than you believe and uh, what will you gain what will you gain from the program today that has to do with the habit of a highly effective person one of the things you will gain is simple at the end if you keep practicing these things this habit they are going to help improve your self-esteem they will help improve the quality of your relationships they are going to help improve your ability to influence others remember you cannot change somebody you can only influence them by the way you do your stuff the way you are to change and it's also going to improve your sense of adventure and excitement and make you a happy a happy businessman a happy mother a happy father a happy organization a happy person this is what you'll benefit from the program today and how will you benefit from if you really want to benefit from the program of today as we begin put it at the back of your mind get your pens and papers put at the back of your mind that you're going to learn whatever we'll be discussing here today you're going to if you want to get more remember once you're writing it down tell yourself and do it teach others what you will learn here today first of all i always recommend teach it to at least three people maybe to a loved one and to a working associate the habits we'll be learning here today and how to better them then remember remember the difference between he who knows and he will achieves is action so you need to take action you need to try to apply these habits every day of your life 
every second every minute of your life you need to try to achieve to uh, apply these habits before then ladies and gentlemen let's get to our turntable we are going to get a song from our own Joyce Baba Tunde, our own uh, wonderful musician from the Northwest. She's going to be giving us a track entitled Road to a Life. Some of that and enjoy. This is Joyce Baba Tunde, Road to a Life. around there is darkness and fear all around there is sorrow and pain oh it's like fighting with a gator hey trying to get some paper you don't know if you live long enough to spend cause people are dying babies are crying like the world is setting And the light's getting deeper With hearts getting colder It feels the world is setting But in between the tears we still smile Well, so sorrow up on treated with laughter And sometimes I ask myself Dead people don't laugh, dead people don't smile, so I will. Enjoy, enjoy. Joyce Babatunde, Road to a Life. Dead people don't lie, so I will. Nobody needs to give you the right to be happy. Happiness is a choice, and you need to choose it. You need to choose to be happy, choose to be amazing, and you just will be because that's exactly what you are. After all, all we got is today. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, nobody needs to give you the right to be happy. Nobody needs to give you the right to be all right. It is your right and it is your choice to choose whether to be all right or not. It is your choice to decide whether you want to be happy. It is your choice to decide whether you want to live an amazing life. It is your choice to decide whether, whether you want to live, enjoy this life or you just want to exist. We will be talking about some habits of highly effective persons and ladies and gentlemen before we dive into these habits i would like us to also look at this what does it mean by a paradigm what does it mean by a paradigm p-a-r-a-d-i-g-m what does it mean by a paradigm and we'll get to understand that a paradigm has to do with the way you see the world a paradigm has to do with the way you see the world Remember, you don't see the world as it is, you see the world as you are. You don't see the world as it is, you see the world as you are. So how do you see the world is what matters. It's what matters. So at the end of this habit, you're going to enjoy a paradigm shift. That means the way you see the world is going to change. 
the way you see the world is going to change and uh, remember that for you to change your situation for you to change your situation from where you are now to be where you want to be there must be a paradigm shift you must change the way you see the world Albert Einstein told us that the significant problems we faced cannot be solved by the same level of thinking we were at when we created them that means the situation you've been going through the level you in which you are now if you want to actually change that level you must change your level of thinking you must change the way you see the world you must change that in order for you to enjoy it you must change the way you see the world so and though before we get into this habits of highly effective people we should also ask ourselves what does it mean by a habit it is very normal for each and every one of us one time in our life we have made this statement to somebody somewhere or to a person or to a, an organization now so that they behave now so these people that they behave now they are happy that why you get bad habit so but what does it mean by a habit what is a habit and uh, if somebody has a particular type of habit can that person actually change that habit the question to whether a habit can be changed it is yes a habit can be changed but not the habit can be changed but not you not you trying to get somebody to change his habit but you behaving in such a way that that person might admire it and desire and desire to be better and that's the way the person will be able to change that habit so what is a habit a habit is a combination of a habit is a combination of three characters i always say habit h equals k s a k s a capital k capital s and capital a what does that mean that means a habit is a combination of knowledge skill and attitude a habit is a combination of the knowledge skill and attitude what does that mean that a habit is a combination of a knowledge the knowledge of the, for you to change the situation or the habits that you practice every day you must be able to have that knowledge that yes that knowledge that impression and that belief that yes this habit can be changed yes i can change from who i was yes i can change my business from this level to another level you must have that belief and you must have that knowing that that habit or that 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 behavior can be changed Remember the will to do can the will to do always stems from the knowledge that you can do. If you don't think you can do it, that's your doom. If you think you can do it, no matter how many times you fail, you will fall down eight times and woke up nine times like like Tina very new used to tell us in that track. So do you think you can change your habit as a knowledge? So the kind of impression I like to let you know viewers out there be it in bamenda be it all over the world because you're listening online too is that any habit no matter how good no matter how bad the habit is it can be changed it can be changed but it's going to take a fight it's not going to happen overnight it's not going to be that easy it's not going to be a bed of roses but with constant effort it can be changed build yourself with that knowledge the other letter on habit is the skill now you know your habits can be changed you know that your habits can actually be changed the next thing is how can that habit be changed how can that habit be changed because how can that habit be changed how so once you know how the habit can be changed the next thing is do you want to change the attitude i talked of habit being knowledge skill and attitude knowledge can the habit be changed yes skill how can the habit be changed attitude why should the habit be changed why should i even bother most of us know better but we are not doing better because we don't know the why so habit is a combination of three letters knowledge the knowledge has to do with the how the when uh, can it be changed yes the skill which has to do with how to change 
and the attitude we have to do it why do i have to change why habit is very important for you ladies and gentlemen is that you must remember that we are what we repeatedly do we are what we repeatedly do excellence is in the act but excellence is not an act but a habit so we have to make excellence be it on our be it in our job sites be it as an entrepreneur be it as a father a mother a child be it as a businessman a rider a taxi driver we have to make excellence a habit so we must know that habit has to do with the knowledge that i can actually do better the skill that the skill that will enable me to do better and the reason why i have to get better that is knowledge skill and attitude knowledge skill and attitude it takes knowledge skill and attitude to make a habit so we are going to get a musical interlude when we come back ladies and gentlemen we are going to get into this the first one of the first habits that will one of the first habits of highly effective people, highly effective parents, highly effective organizations, highly effective citizens, and highly effective leaders will get into those habits. But before we go there, I want you to understand that habit is very, very important. It is very, very important. Why? Listen to what Zig Ziglar said. When you sow a thought, you reap a word. When you sow a word, you reap an action. When you sow an action, you reap a habit. When you sow a habit, you reap a character. And when you sow a character, you reap a destiny. Very, very important. Very, very important. Let's get a musical interlude. We are going to still be diluting from our own Joyce Babatunde. She will be giving us a track. One of our tracks entitled Sela. Let's get Joyce Babatunde Sela on Sabo, and when we come back, we talk about the habits of highly effective organizations and highly effective people. I know say big, I'm not go you. I know say strong, I'm not go past you. I know that it's heavy, oh, oh, but it's not go past you. Because I know say you can't free your whole oh, oh So we no go past you, no, no We no go past you, 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 no Oh, 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 I know say it's strong but he no go past you And I know that it's bitter But he no go past you And I know that it's heavy But he no go past you Cause I know say you can't breathe You can't breathe He no go past you He no go past you, no 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 Enough go past you, no. Enough go past you, no. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. No more aches for your sympathy. Found a brass and raised a boss. I'm built up on Joyce Babatunde telling us there that it no go past you. It no go past you to change from that habit that has been draining you, that has been putting you behind while you're supposed to be ahead, to move up to the better habit. It no go past you for take your organization for another level. It no go past you for be for change to a better habit and uh, to make your parents, your brothers and sisters, your family or your children enjoy you. It no go pass you Sabah Joyce Babatunde it no go pass you as you listen for Motani on FM 98.5 
go, no 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 go,
he wanted to get them all on that particular day so what did he do he had to kill the goose operate the stomach of that goose to see if he could get all the golden eggs that were inside and what happened he found no golden eggs in there and in the long run he never got golden eggs again and he went back to his wretched life just because he did not take care of what what usually what was giving him money what made him rich what made him a better person so we need to take care of the things that help us a better make us a better person we need to take care of them all right at this juncture ladies and gentlemen let's get one more musical interlude one more musical interlude then from there we are going to be moving to something better this time we are going to get a track from nigeria's mi abaga one of the most prolific rappers we have in the 21st century and is going to be giving us the final when you discover what you're going to be in life set out to do it as if god almighty called you at this particular moment in history to do it and just don't set out to do a good negro job but do a good job that anybody could do Few more years to go. Don't let the battle fall. So be the girl you love. Set out to do a good job and do that job so well that the living, the dead, or the unborn couldn't do it any better. So show me why you're strong. Like Shakespeare or poetry. Like Michelangelo painted pictures. Like Beethoven composed music. Hey mama, I'm sitting in my final moments Everything from now will only be a bonus Stayed away from beef to say that I got no cojones If I kill these rappers off, I'll still receive condolence In the end, nobody wins, it's a game that's goalless I'm understanding what my purpose is and what my role is I gotta be the structure standing that can house the homeless Everyone can trash the building, just not the owners Hey mama, my appetite is just returning Once again inside me, I can feel a burning in my brain, the wheels are churning, I'm so determined. Walked inside the home we built, and it was full of vermin. I'll accept responsibility for my abandon. We can start rebuilding slow, as long as you in tandem. Maybe the finale can rally the mandem. Just tell him daddy's home, I got plenty to yander. Finally in your life's blueprint must be a commitment to the eternal principles. You're listening there to Emma Yabaga featuring uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Telling you the final. You must be able to put on your best habits in order for you to achieve your dream. Savo, Emma Yabaga featuring Martin Luther King Jr. The final. Your self-respect to the point that you do not struggle for justice. You have a responsibility to seek to make life for everybody yeah mama hip-hop needs some new curation all the people now are aid in segregation because they ashamed of what we do they trample our creation this is not the nation that i gave its liberation huh. allegations of discrimination local versus punchline versus imitation you have to realize that there's no limitation just turn your inspiration into innovation mama time is moving and the clock is ticking it's no time for idle talk no time for politicking we have to find the groove, we have to find the rhythm. It's time, rappers, please emerge from where you're hidden. Let them know that from the anarchy, a sound is risen. Give them bars to set them free and not to build a prison. One is gold, one is steel, you decide which isn't. You, you decide which isn't. <laughs> And so you 
must be involved in the struggle for freedom and justice. Now in this struggle for freedom and justice there are many constructive things that we all can do. Mama, I'm sitting in my final moments. Everything from now will only be a bonus. Stayed away from beef to say that I got no cojones. If I kill these rappers off, I'll still receive condolence. In the end, nobody wins. It's a game that's goalless. I'm understanding what my purpose is and what my role is. I gotta be the structure standing that can house the homeless. Everyone can trash the building, just not the owners. Hey, mama, my appetite is just returning. Once again, inside me, I can feel a burning. In my brain, the wheels are churning. I'm so determined. Walked inside the home we built, and it was full of vermin. I'll accept responsibility for my abandon. We can start rebuilding slow as long as you and tandem. Maybe the finale can rally the mandem. Just tell him daddy's home, I got plenty to yander. Finally, in your life's blueprint. Gentlemen, you're still alive, I'm 1985. Beam FM, the radio for peace and development. Yes, I do have. Mom says let's let's go to the farm. Her dad to say no. She has to read. She has she has to do that. So so my mother just just coined my father like like daughter, meaning that I took it for my dad. Mm -hmm. So it's it's some it's some something that I've come across. Okay, mm -hmm. that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> that uh, one time the father told her like father like like mother like, like daughter. I mean, yeah. what the habits or the thing you were doing, you're doing it because you inherited it from your father. From your father, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. Your father. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Neil Peter. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, you're still FM 98.5, and we are discussing some habits of highly effective persons today. And the, the first of those habits is being proactive. The first habit of a highly effective person is being a proactive person. What do I mean by being proactive? I mean, like, taking decisions by yourself when you look at a situation and you feel like it's not going the way it's supposed to be you take the responsibility to make it better if your life is not the way you want it to be if your life is not the way you want it to be you have to take that responsibility to make it better and uh, the irony about this this proactivity has to do with the fact that most of us at times, when we find ourselves exhibiting a particular type of habit, maybe it's smoking, maybe it's drinking, maybe it's too much smoking, too much drinking, maybe it's uh, being, being that type of person that runs away from, from problems, being that kind of person that cannot initiate solutions. When we find ourselves exhibiting those type of habits, the first excuse we give ourselves is that 
na 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 jean na to work inheritance from my grandpa and so my grandpa be the doam and so I meet to na why that me to the doam so that's the excuse we give ourselves or we give ourselves the excuse that okay na so my papa be the doam na so my mommy be the doam na so my mommy do am so I give to do that same thing or we always tell ourselves that okay na because na because of the environment na because of the government na because of the way by men that run the na so na why that you see me I do this kind thing we always give ourselves that excuses we give ourselves those excuses and when we give ourselves those excuses we are not being proactive we are not taking responsibility we are not taking responsibility for our future we are actually giving ourselves that ability that inability to take action that inability to change ourselves so for you to be a highly effective person you must learn to be a proactive person that you must take responsibility Remember the word responsibility com- it's a combination of two words response and ability response and ability that means you have to respond and uh, the ability to, for you to choose your response the ability for you to choose your response when you feel like behaving in that way that you know that it has been detrimental to you maybe you are at your job site and others have been promoted and you haven't been promoted or others have received salary raises and you haven't you should ask yourself what is that behavior that is deterring me from being promoted that is deterring me from making a lot of money that is deterring deterring me from my own salary being added because once you discover that habit you'll be able to take responsibility to make sure it does not happen again to make sure it does not happen again now proactivity means taking the first step even when you're not seeing the whole staircase taking the first step to make things better not waiting for others to do it for you that simply tells you that if you have a dream you need to take the be the person to take that first step to make your dreams come true and others will not do it for you you are supposed to be that person not waiting for situations to arise before situations to arise for you to be able to use that situation to somehow catapult yourself or to begin your dream but creating the situation that is necessary to help you achieve that dream you must be proactive if you want to make it in this life not reactive you must be you must be proactive remember that no one can hurt you without your consent that is Eleanor Roosevelt says no one can help you hurt you without your consent so you need to learn to be take action take action to make things happen it is always said that there are three kinds of people in this world those who make things happen those who watch things happen and those who don't know what happened actually so which one do you want to belong because i prefer to belong to that site that make things happen that that group of people that make things happen that group of people that make news not just talk about news and the only way you can do that is to take upon yourself that whatever i have to achieve whatever i have to be it all depends on me the only person that can determine whether you achieve your dream is you the only person that is able to determine whether you will make it in flying colors be it in an exam is you you alone can do that and that is being part of being proactive don't blame your parents don't blame your grandparents don't blame the environment the government the economic situation or the national policies why do i say so because there are some people look around you and you will see people who grew up in the same situation as you did and they are doing far better than you is it because those people were different no it is because they decided to be proactive they decided to take the responsibility take their future into their own hands not waiting for the government not waiting for the civil society not waiting for their parents not waiting for their brothers and sisters but they are taking the responsibility to make their life better they are taking the responsibility to make their life better that is proactivity be proactive if you actually really want to make your life better take the responsibility you alone can do that you alone can make your life better you alone can make your life better 
sometimes we wonder and we ask ourselves that how can i do that how can i do that when we have a lot of obstacles here and there here and there here and there and we have a lot of obstacles everywhere how can i do that the truth is those obstacles are either there to push you to the next level those obstacles are either there to make you become flexible to take another road or those obstacles are either there to make you strong and give you the ability to climb over them there is no obstacle that comes into your life or no obstacle that you see that you can't overcome you either go around them go over them go under them or go through them and become stronger so remember that for you to be a highly effective person highly effective leader highly effective organization highly effective business person highly effective uh, parent you have to be proactive you have to be proactive not waiting for people to do things but make things happen you do not wait for them to do things but you make things happen ladies and gentlemen let's move on to the turn to turntables get another track from emma yabaga he entitled this one hustle hustle by emma yabaga <laughs> My J Town hustlers, my ABJ hustlers, my Lagos hustlers. We gon' make them customers. Up the art, the bustin' us, the music ass are rushing us. We winners where the sinners are saints, we hustlers. UJ hustlers, ATBU hustlers. We don't let it tussle or muscle us, cause we tussle thus. We soldiers, we warriors, the future is glorious. Submerge you, the hustle and victorious. Do it notorious. B I G is M I hustle and the M I C. Hustle in his rap music to NYC. Ah, hustle is all I see. To hustle is going like my brother Kim. I promise to hustle hard so that I honor him. Hustle in when life is grim. Hustle in till the lights go dim. We hustle us. So let them keep discussing and cussing us Cause we hustle us Never let them out tussle or out muscle us This is a song for those unafraid To travel thus the roads on the path to get paid While all around small rich kids are getting laid We keep the head game sharp like a tight grade So get that grade, get that H1 visa We gon' make them all to believe us Never forget the place where you're from If you don't ever come back home What good have you done? But while you're there Run for us, run. Black child living oppressed under the sun. For JC, Archman and Silly C. Watch for your boy on widescreen telly V. V. Ha. <laughs> Remember, there are two kinds of situations that there are situations that you have a direct control. There are situations that have you have direct control over. There are situations that you have an indirect control over, and there are situations that you have no control over. Something like the crisis we are experiencing, you have no control over, so you shouldn't bother yourself about that. You should just do the little you can do. But the highest thing that you can control has to do with you. The highest, the only person you can change has to do with just you. You are the only person that can change yourself. Yourself. And you're responsible to make that change and not others. You are responsible to make that change on yourself and not that of others. Remember also that there are things that you have influence over and there are things that you have concerns over. Always learn to focus on your circle of influence rather than your circle of concern. You are concerned about everything that is happening. We are 
concerned about the level of employment, unemployment, you're concerned about the level of insecurity we have in the Northwest. But what little thing can you do to make it better? That has to do with your circle of influence. Always focus on things that you have direct control over. And one of those things that you have absolutely direct control over is how you behave. And for you to make to be a better person, to be a better leader, to be a better organization, you must become proactive. Taking steps, baby steps, that will help you be better. Knowing that wherever I have to go, whatever level I want to reach, I alone can take myself there and no other person. I alone can take myself there and no other person. That is what you should take, take home today. We were discovering, discussing some habits of highly effective leaders, some habits of highly effective organizations, habits of highly effective parents, and habits of highly effective people. And today we saw just one of the habits, and that is being a proactive person, taking responsibility to take your dream, to take yourself to wherever, whatever level you want to be, regardless of what others are saying regardless of what others are saying we are going to get to the turntables and when we come back ladies and gentlemen we are going to get to the next lot of the program and that has to do with the poetry part of the program enjoy this track Decide to be happy and decide to do at least one thing a day. to be happy. Render others happy, proclaim your joy. Love passionately your miraculous life. Do not listen to promises. Do not wait for a better world. Be grateful for every moment of life. Switch on and keep on the positive buttons in your life. Those mark optimism, sincerity, confidence, positive thinking, love. Pray and thank God every day. Meditate, smile, laugh, 
whistle, sing, and dance. Look with fascination at everything. Feel your, your lungs and heart with, with liberty. Be yourself fully and immensely. Act like a king or queen unto death. Feel God in your body, mind, heart, and soul, and be convinced of eternal life and resurrection. Decide to do at least one good action a day. If not, or innumerable ones, talk to God every morning and ask God, what good can I do today? God will answer you and guide you, for God is with you, and you will have given God life by asking God. God cannot be manifest without being asked. God speaks to you through your soul, which is the true guide of your life. Ask God, talk to God, dialogue with God, and you will be the source of many miracles. You will produce them all around you. Do at least one good action a day until the very end of your life. Just think what a huge amount of good that will represent. And if all six billion people on earth do one good action a day, what a planet it will be. Opportunity only dances with those who are already at the dance floor. Opportunity only dances with those who are already at the dance floor. technical it's been motani on fm 98.5 dream fm the radio for peace and development benefiting from the technical and experiential assistance of uh, to clinton and the station boss real hour maker power ramp special thanks to yg incorporated curious mind book clubs and the greens international for contributions and to continue being unstoppable relentless and inspired to achieve more and be more Get to me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest with the handle Motani, M-O-20-A-Twin-N-I, M-O-20-A-Twin-N-I. Or on WhatsApp or Telegram only, 695-614-947, 695-614-947. Until next edition, bask in the flame of your greatness and uh, Mia, Kakatoto, Beriwo. Very well. A young nerd.